Parasite is South Korean filmmaker's Bong Joon-ho's seventh film after 2013's Snowpiercer with Chris Evans and 2017's Okja and is in his native Korean language. And Parasite has been getting major award hype from winning the Palme d'Or back in 2019 in May at Cannes, a prestigious prize and the fact it won amongst all other things is a high praise and it's the first ever Korean film to ever be nominated for Best Foreign Language Picture and even Best Picture. And my local theatre had a preview showing of the film, followed by a Q&A with Bong Joon-ho and one of the film's leads, Song Kang-ho. And I was off the charts excited for it, based on the war type and the stellar reviews. There are two films I have always regarded in my mind as my two favourite-ish films, but not quite the all-time favourite or favourites. Those two films, for a long time, have been La La Land and M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable with Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. But I've never had a distinct favourite film. When the credits started for Parasite, as an avid film lover, I instinctively knew that Parasite was the best film I'd ever seen. The fact that something had actually done this floored me. And this was made even more remarkable by the fact this was my first ever foreign language film. Not just in theatres, but generally everywhere. And this film destroys the language barrier in less than 10 minutes. This film has two very distinct halves. And without giving anything away, I do quite struggle to describe what is so brilliant about this film, I think. But there are two very distinct halves to it, which is part of what is so brilliant about it. The first half is a social satire that, with elements of an Ocean's Eleven-esque heist thriller of the rich versus the poor, which is extremely funny thanks to Bong Joon-ho's script. The second half comes at a huge turning point in the film, where the film completely changes and becomes multiple genres at a time. The way the film does this feels so natural and realistic to the story and its characters and the predicament and the situation they find themselves in. The fact that it is able to juggle so many genres without feeling ever unbalanced or totally mismatched or all over the place is astonishing. And this is a testament to Bong Joon-ho's directing and script who is rightfully being praised as one of the next Alfred Hitchcocks of this generation of filmmakers. Bong's direction is perfect. There are so many images locked into my mind, ranging from extremely terrifying ones, one of which is the absolute most terrifying image I've ever seen in film, as as well as very stylistic images. And there is beautiful camera work that matches the ever-shifting tone of the film masterfully. One scene in particular at that big turning point in the start of the second half is filmed perfectly to match the genre it feels like and really ratchets up the tension and made me really, really scared during that scene. But what Bong also manages to masterfully do is match the film and imbue it with so much humanity but also rage and really palpable anger at the inequalities of our world and at capitalism and the corruption that causes to everyone. And there are brilliant performances all around from the cast, but the standout here for me is Song Kang-ho as Kitek, the father of the poor family portrayed in this film. There is so much emotion embedded in his eyes, and despite the fact he wasn't speaking a language I could actually verbally understand, He still portrayed so much emotion and character with just his face alone, with one scene in particular towards the end really showcasing his incredible acting skills. I hope he gets recognised and picked up after this, because he really deserves to. And Bong, as his director, wisely knows when to let him, as well as the rest of the cast, let their faces speak for themselves, rather than have dialogue explaining why they're angry or sad. There are heart-wrenching moments because of the cast, but also deeply terrifying ones, and these are kept in perfect balance by Bong and his cast, who refuse to let go of their characters all throughout this incredible journey. Bong's script is 
perfect. It is a gloriously entertaining crowd pleaser, very funny, but also twisty, shocking and unpredictable, but also at times really deeply sad. Bong wears every element of the film in his sleeve and balances them out from intellectual contemplative themes to pure scenes of just entertainment for the audience. This is a miracle of a film to be able to juggle all the things it does so naturally and effortlessly without ever losing sight of its characters and their change. This is the only proof you need that Bong Joon-ho is a master of filmmaking and it is a practically flawless film. It, Parasite is a masterpiece of every genre it ventures into and I don't want to go on too much as I could talk and talk about Parasite forever and ever and you will feel the same way too when you see it. And of course it's getting a 10 out of 10. And go see the film as blindly as possible. I didn't see a single trailer, I just went based off the massive hype it was getting. And I'm so glad I did because the less you know about the film, the better it is. And don't read up any spoilers because it was completely ruined the film for you. Also, don't let the language barrier stop you, because like I said, it's the first ever foreign language film I've seen in general. If it's in a theatre near you, you have to go. You'll deeply regret it otherwise. Like I said, Parasite is the best film I've ever seen, and my favourite film of all time. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go watch Parasite, and it will change your life. With that, I will end the video and say... Goodbye.